Well, Mother's Day is this Sunday. It's the perfect time to talk about ways moms can live a happier, maybe even a magical life. Right now, a return visit to our studio for an author who grew up here in central New York, back home talking about her new book. You may have already read Casey Matthews' first book, Premie, came out in 2012. Is that possible, Casey? Yes. <laughs> the heart-wrenching ordeal her family endured when her daughter Andy was born four months premature. Casey's written this new book now, A Mom's Guide to Creating a Magical Life, Eight Steps to Feel Happier, Inspired, and More Relaxed, and and he's over here going to college. Yeah. So, Casey Time Matthews, flies, right? well, well, welcome. Thank you. Great to have you Thanks back for here. having me back yeah, again. Our pleasure. What what is what's in here? This this looks like a guide that I, I got to say I've been peeking myself, and I'm not even a mother. But it's a guide for people, isn't it? It to is. Be happy. You know, and and it's like you need to pick your audience. And being a mom, I speak yes. to other moms. Yes. So, but it you really do. is a book for everybody because it's about getting deliberate in your life, getting clear on how you want to show up in your life. And these are the stories and the tools and the activities, exercises to help direct you that way. And, and magic, the word magic is infused throughout this yes. book. What is it about magic? I feel like when we are really present and grounded and showing up as our full selves, you know when like you're in the flow of life and it just kind of feels like you're you're swimming down or floating down the stream rather than struggling up the other way? Mm -hmm. That's when the magic happens. When all of a sudden unexpected things show up, whether it's, you know, like a, a parking space where you're like, oh, this is just so easy. Yeah. Or the phone, you think of an old friend and I should call them and suddenly they're calling you. So that's what I mean by magic. Just these serendipitous things that you actually can attract into your life when you get deliberate in the way you move through it. But you're saying there's some practical things you really need to do yes. to get yourself prepared to have the magic enter your life. What, yes. Give us an example. So an example is how you deliberately go through your day. So for moms in particular, we talked about before, they're caregivers. Every Moms want to take care of everybody else first. So what's really clear kind of throughout this is this idea of taking care of yourself first and then when you've taken care of yourself you have more to give to everybody else as opposed to taking care of everybody else first and then you have nothing yeah, there's left. nothing left for yourself nothing yeah you're left. exhausted by the end of it exactly. and put down your phone right don't check your email a million times a day and don't multitask because who can really be a great multitasker anyway yeah and and that's the like a real simple practical thing that i the advice i give often is there's so much noise right noise mm -hmm. all the time so how do you wake up in the morning is the very first thing you do is pick up your phone, <laughs> check your Facebook <laughs> feed, right, check, right. And, you know, and start responding. Or do you give yourself five minutes, yeah. 10 minutes, a half hour to just kind of sit and quiet and collect your thoughts and, and be deliberate, mm -hmm. you know, about and how you present. want to be present. Right? Yeah, that right? says a lot. Five minutes can change an entire day. Casey, thank you so much. You know, yeah. Casey spoke uh, last night in an event to help with the neonatal intensive care unit at Krauss. Are you going to be at Barnes & Noble this evening, right? Yes, with with copies right. of the book, Tonight, too? Well, I, I read Premie when it first came out. I loved it. I cried through the whole thing, oh, yeah. and I can't wait to it's read terrific. this next one. Thank Congratulations. you. Thanks for being here. Thank Welcome you back. so much. We appreciate it was a treat. <laughs>